a birthday candle. Parents have been putting them on children's cakes for centuries. The parents light the wick, the heat from the flame melts and vaporizes the wax, which is then burned. We expect even young kids to be able to blow out the candles because those flames are not that scary. Conditions for a larger, more dangerous fire occurs when you have more fuel, fresh air, and an ignition source. The larger the fire, the greater the amount of heat released by the chemical reaction and the more hazardous the fire is. Depending on the balance between the chemical reaction and heat transfer, a small flame can grow into a very serious fire, way beyond what you could hope to blow out. At NASA Glenn, we are operating an experiment in space called Sapphire that is much larger than anything we've ever burned. Three sapphire experiments will be completed soon, and we are building three more to continue to learn about material flammability and study fire detection, monitoring, and cleanup in future NASA missions. A fire in a spacecraft is one of the most hazardous conditions that an astronaut crew might face. And so we want to learn how it will burn so that we can give them the proper tools so that they can respond to it, protect themselves, and extinguish it as rapidly as possible. In Sapphire 1, we were looking at a single large uh, fuel sample, and what we learned was the flame very rapidly reached a steady size and shape and spread rate. And it also burned a little bit slower than what we were anticipating. We also saw that it burned just as rapidly uh, into the incoming air as it did when it was burning with the incoming air. Sapphire 2 has the same general shape of the experiment, but it, the samples card has nine samples of different materials. These materials have flammability limits that are at different oxygen levels, but there are also some materials that are used in different places on a spacecraft that we want to study how they burn. Since the very beginning, one of Glenn's strengths has been physical sciences in microgravity, studying how fluid transfer combustion is different in low gravity than it is in normal gravity. And so we've really taken that role about low gravity science uh, within NASA and led that for many years. The purpose of this work is to protect a crew from any fire that may happen on a spacecraft. One. So it's very much supporting uh, NASA's journey to Mars. And as you can see, Cygnus lifting off on top of its Antares rocket on its mission to deliver supplies and science to the International Space Station.